Hello and welcome into this episode of the Versus Podcast. My name is Matt and joining me today is Caleb and Garrett. Uh, this is our college football breakdown of week three. Uh, so boys, how we doing? Doing good. Doing good. Doing great. Having a great Monday. It's just, it's just a great it's day. Good. It's just a great day. It's boys, great I am day. having a great weekend. <laughs> it started off very bad, but we'll get into it. It ended up going very, very well. Yeah. So it, it's been it's been a great weekend. I can't I can't complain. <laughs> But let's get into it. Let's talk about our teams. Let's put a timer on it. Garrett, you got two minutes to recap the Ohio State game. Go. I honestly could recap this game in 30 seconds. Uh, It was nice having Smith and Jigba and uh, Fleming back. They looked good. Um, Offense was insane. I think we had more total yards of offense than Iowa does their whole season in that game. (laughs) I'm not kidding. Um, (laughs) <laughs> uh, CJ Stroud like normal fine it's throwing dots um, yeah uh, so because we were blowing out we scored 77 points because we were blowing them out so bad it, it was nice to see like you know the future but guys like two to three years down the road um, I forget his name uh, running back had a nice run for a touchdown um, yeah I mean this this week uh, this week's you know against wisconsin i love that we have four home games to start off the season in a row i think um so before everybody gets mad at me about that i think the niners have five home games in a row this year so that happens in the nfl too not just college um yeah nice ohio state blew them out sweet caleb two minutes iowa Um, you got much to say um i don't have a whole lot to say on iowa this week i mean my my Stance is still kind of the same. Um, not a Spencer Petras fan, although he did play better last week. I mean, it was it was Nevada, so I mean their defense is. I mean, he played South Dakota. Statistically, I, think I mean, they had the worst defense in the FBI. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna get my hopes up or anything on uh, on Spencer Petras last I really game, but. Be I but <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. He's either, either as a fan, but. Um, I mean, defense playing just great all year. I mean, hell, I mean, Nevada's offense is terrible too. But I mean, it's still, still not easy to hold an offense to zero. Yeah. Um, but yeah, defense looks good. We have a lot of young guys who are starting to get in. Our future, future hot guys on defense who are starting to play um, on defense, um, which is crazy. A lot of them. Like Bettner played in high school yeah. football, oh, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, it's cool to see. It's, it's cool to see, um, for sure. And they're really good too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Same way. I mean, Iowa got some wide receivers back on offense, which helps a little bit. Probably won't that much, but yeah, feeling great. We got Rutgers this week. Hopefully, we can get the dub, and then we got Michigan next weekend. Oof. So uh, yeah. Is it home? Home. Home okay. against Michigan. So we do have a chance. I. I is you Rutgers never know. Home? Rutgers is away, so oh, I'm okay. a little. Yeah. Say, they started I honestly, down. yeah. I honestly, <clears throat> I mean, some is it a night game against Michigan? No, it's is a that, big, it's a uh, big noon kickoff game. Game. Which I'm like, why is that not a night game? Yeah, I, if, I was, if it was a night game, I would, I would pick Iowa. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. No, it, dude, it's night happened games many times. Top five opponent in, in Kinnick like, is very hard. Yeah. It's very hard to win. I mean, Ohio State happened to Ohio State that one time. Sorry, remind you. About that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Well, I didn't mean to do that. But I'm just trying to make a point. You know, like I'm just trying to make a point. Right, Happened boys, in Michigan I'm many so times. Glad you made that. All right, boys. <laughs> okay, time, time you guys get, probably gonna destroy us this year. I set the timer. One minute to talk about how bad the performance was, and then one t- minute to talk about how great the future is gonna be. All right, go. All right, so we start out with the game. Absolutely atrocious. That is the worst football game that i have ever witnessed live ever <laughs> i have never seen a game go so badly for my team and i've seen asu get blown out by 50 by usc before like bad games 30 to 21 to eastern michigan to eastern michigan our offense looked like they were lost our defense was on the field the whole time a team that was averaging 70 rush yards a game which was one of the worst in fbs then ran for over 300 yards and their rusher had never been able to get more than 100 yards in a game and did it against our defense. It was absolutely atrocious. I was texting Garrett during the game. I don't know how this team did not lose by 50 points 
to, uh, to Oklahoma State. It was embarrassing. I was embarrassed to watch that live. I wanted to leave so bad, but I couldn't leave my boys. If anyone doesn't know, I have a su- superstition when it comes to ASU football where I get popcorn between the third and the fourth <laughs> quarter. So during that time, I go up to my seat. I get my fourth quarter popcorn. You know what they were out of that game? Fourth quarter popcorn. Oh, no, no popcorn no. in the stands. Oh, I was pissed. Oh, my was, gosh. I knew the game was over right then. I was like, it's over. Okay. Should have left. Should have left. left. Now to the good news. Because of this game, Herm Edwards has been dismissed from the program. They mutually parted ways. I was sitting in this room watching NFL football. I think Tyreek just scored a touchdown, who I just traded away. So I was I was very sad. He's down in the dumps. And, I'm then on I get, and then I look at Twitter, and I see that Herm Edwards was fired. I'm so glad that they made this move. I think that this is the best thing for this program because he has been nothing but a cancer to us. We we started out when he came five years ago in the exact same position, if not worse. So all I want to say is I'm super excited. Let's see what Sean Aguano can do. Um, I don't know if we're going to win a game the rest of the year, to be honest, but that's all I got to say. Yeah. Um, I think also my brother, since um, Sean Caleb, he worked the Vegas Bowl. Last year, uh, he had to watch over the coach's kids. He said Herman Edwards' kids are the worst kids to deal yep. with. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I can't stand that, man. Uh, yeah. All right. In the next segment, we'll get into our week two recaps of the games around college football. All right, boys. Let's get into our recap of the week two games. Um, let's start out um, Nebraska. Uh, we didn't really get to talk about it, um, but Nebraska fired Scott Frost. And um, some were hoping that it would bring some uh renovation and uh, they could stay in the game it looked like they were for a little bit but then oklahoma just destroyed them 49 to 14 um i i'll start out i think that i i think that oklahoma is a, a com- possible playoff team i think that they could compete for a championship i mean I, nebraska is just a dumpster fire right now yeah i i like i like um what brent venable is doing with oklahoma after last year's disaster their defense looks really good uh yeah defense looks good um nebraska was in the game for maybe about three minutes uh when they scored the first touchdown i was like oh maybe and then i was like no not at all (laughs) um yeah that's really all all i have to say about that um i just like seeing nebraska again yeah i just i i just like nebraska's like Oh, they're so historical stuff. Yeah, I've never seen them good. Historical. I've never seen yeah, in my good. lifetime, I've never seen I've Nebraska, never seen Nebraska good. Nebraska be good. There's they the one time they went to the Big Nadama Ten. Sue. I think that was the last time I saw Nebraska. Yeah, was good. It's not been good since like early 2000s. Like it's been yeah, like they went to the when they went the 90s like when they played Miami. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you got anything about but, that game? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean Oklahoma looks really good. I I like Brett Venables. I, I liked him when he was on Clemson. I love him. I liked him when well, he was on Clemson. I, I, I hate Dabo Sweeney with the passion. Can I can I talk about something for a second? I hate when he runs down the hill in front of the whole team, not with the team. He it's just all about me. I just want hey guys, I'm I'm running, I'm sprinting, I'm all I'm all passionate about this. Run with your team. Be with the guys. I, I just hate it so much. It's just a, like a look at me, 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 me. Such a selfish act. I do not like Dabo Sweeney. Continue. I, I like Dabo. I like Dabo. I like Dabo. I like Dabo. Da- Garrett knows I like Dabo because yeah. I cheer for Clemson. Shout out to the team they played. I forget who it was, but that gave all the letters. <laughs> yeah. They like all writ letters, wrote letters to like one of the Clemson players who her, his sister had just died. Yeah, yeah, the LA- yeah, that was, that was yeah. nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that was, was super that was, cool. that was super cool. So shout out to that. Um, yeah, I like Brett Venables. I think he's really good for Oklahoma and Nebraska is terrible. It makes my day and surprise Scott Frost honestly lasted that long. So yeah, thought he should have been fired last year. Yeah. But all right, Oregon with a big win over number 12, uh, BYU. Uh, they won 41 to 20. Um, Bo Nix balled out in this game. He was uh, 13 of 18, 222 yards and two <laughs> touchdowns. Uh, does, does Oregon have a chance now to win the Pac-12 or to compete? For a chance of the playoff, I mean, uh, the table, but no, maybe I think I think I could possibly see. I don't know how the Pac-12 works. Um, you might have to correct me here. Is it possible that Oregon and USC could play each other in the Pac-12 championship? Yeah, so they were already in separate like divisions, but the there's divisions still, but there's no. It's um, just the top, it's two, the top teams. two teams. Okay, yep. I like that. I think that's my prediction. Because I never got the same. Yeah, I think there's, I think uh, there's four teams. Oregon, USC, Pac-12 championship. I think there's four teams that can win it. After we saw Washington this weekend, Oregon, yeah. and then Utah, USC, obviously. So yeah, I, I honestly don't. 
my judge for how good Oregon is per year, uh, each year is to see how they play against Utah. So let's see how they play against yeah. Utah. Um, I don't, I don't know if they play each other in the regular season. Really? They do. They do. Dude, they have, they have that second to last game again this year. And this year it's in Oregon. It's in Oregon. That'll be so that we'll see. It's interesting. Cause I wonder if they have, U- do they have USC too? Oh wait, so scroll up. They don't have USC. Oh, sorry. I thought that was USC. Well. No, they don't have USC. No, yeah. I think I think it's they have to play. They have to play Washington. So, so and, uh, they have to play Washington and Utah in back to back weeks. So, at the so end. Oregon, home against Utah okay, and at home against cool. Washington. Oregon that is helps. not good in my eyes. No matter how much they win by, no matter how who they beat, until they play Utah. No matter if it's the second last game of the season, because like I don't know. Every single year, it just seems like they struggle with them or they pull them out. Yeah. So it's a kryptonite. Yeah. You got anything on the Utah BYU? Yeah. I mean, this is my Pac 12 championship team. Um, I have I, you're home. obviously feeling better now. Than <laughs> yeah. I feel a lot better. That we yeah. performance. I should, I honestly, let me um, just say something real quick yeah. for the pick em. I should have known that BYU was going to lose this game, but I still picked them. Yeah. S- stupid decision by me. <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself. Hey, sometimes you don't feel this. Hey, hey if it was in Provo, I think they, yeah, BYU. Would have a better yeah, a lot, a lot closer. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I th- I like Oregon. I think they'll be. I think they have maybe have a chance at the playoffs. I agree. I think it'll be Oregon USC. Well, I mean, I don't know. They have to go undefeated. They have to go undefeated, oh. and they have to beat USC in the Pac-12. So it's a long shot for sure. Yeah. But then again, I mean, they're all, so far, if they if they only have one loss the whole season is Georgia. I mean, that's still pretty good because Georgia's insane. But yeah, I like them. I agree though. I think they'll. I, I like I like Dan Landing in Oregon, so I th- yeah. I, th- I, th- I thought it was better. a good win. So they look better. Bo Nix looks better. All right, let's go to the Penn State Auburn game. Um, let me pull up the score. But Penn State was <laughs> game uh... game. That was a game. Uh, there was yeah, an actual so, game yeah. that was played there. Yeah, Penn State beating Auburn forty-one to twelve. Um, Penn State looked impressive. Auburn looked bad. Um, it, I felt like it was kind of both ends of the spectrum for that one. Yeah, Penn State's defense looked really good. Um, I'll be it. Uh, Auburn's offense is not very good, but Penn State's defense, they're flying around. They're making plays. Um, I enjoyed watching a Big Ten team beating an SEC team. I always enjoy that. Big Ten Ten boys over here. um, uh, I think (laughs) so. My my biggest my biggest key player for this game was uh, number 11 on defense for Penn State. I want to say his last name was Singleton, I want to say. That's no. their running back. Running back? Mm-hmm. Shoot. Well, number 11 on the defense. I honestly, his name escapes me, but um, he looked really, really good. He was flying around. He kind of, he plays a lot like Micah Parsons. Okay. And so like a lot of compare, like the commentators yeah. are comparing the two a lot. Yeah. And he was, he was making a lot of good plays, but yeah, I, it was a blowout. I had fun watching an SEC team getting blown out. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't know if you boys know this, but I just do not like Penn State. What like Michigan oh, to I you guys? Yeah. Michigan to you, to you guys like Penn State for me, because like you know Iowa Penn State yeah, rivalry, yeah. but cannot stand Penn State with a passion. Um, so I always enjoy when they lose and when they won. I mean, I don't like it, but Auburn just not. Yeah, like two and one. Two and I one. They probably. Win. I don't know. They probably. Like, I knew Penn State was gonna win after yeah, they beat I mean, like. Yeah, San Jose State by like seven last week. Auburn yeah. did at oh, home. Yeah. yeah, but I don't have a whole lot to say. I knew Penn State. We'll see. Win this we'll game. see how long your coach lasts because he was on the kind of on the hot seat last year. Yeah. But Auburn's coach. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Nicholas Singleton. Uh, the the that's who you're thinking of. Uh, running back, ten carries, 124 yards, two touchdowns. He's yeah. been balling out at the beginning of this that's, season. So, yeah. um, Penn State looked good. We'll see if they are able to contend. Um, I, it's it's it makes the um Big Ten a little deeper. Um, but. I think that was uh, that was a good game for Penn State and for the Big Ten after not so good of a start to the day. But yeah. let's talk about Washington upsetting Michigan State. I guess you could call it an upset. It was it was kind of a beatdown. I mean, Michigan State made it close at the end. It was thirty nine twenty eight, but Washington was destroying them at um, the beginning of the game. Yeah, and so uh, Michael Penix Jr. Uh, transfer from Indiana. Yeah. Um, he he balled out. Um, twenty four forty three ninety seven yards and four touchdowns. Um, Michigan State looked bad. Yeah. They looked bad in the first half. Yeah, I guess this is one of the moments where like Vegas knew because Washington was favored in this game, even though Michigan State was ranked number eleven, which I don't know how they were ranked eleven. But yeah, Michael Penix looked good. 
I wasn't really watching too much of this game. I know Ohio State wasn't playing anybody good. I was still watching Ohio State play. Um, but yeah, from what I saw, Michigan State like they they just came out really slow on offense. I feel like it was a little bit of like a too little, too late. Um, but I think. I think Washington looks good. I think they they have a chance to be a, a real contender in the Pac-12 now. Um, Michigan State always enjoy watching them lose. So yeah, that's about all I have to say. Yeah, yeah. Garrett pretty much um, covered the whole thing. Yeah, I don't think Michigan State. I think they're a little overrated. I don't think they're as good as always they. Are. They. I agree. Mm-hmm. They should definitely should not be eleven. And I think Washington looks Washington looks pretty good. Pac twelve's got some good teams, so we'll you know, see. We'll see. We'll see. see. We'll see but. They the Pac twelve has a stigma of just beating themselves up and not having a team. So True. I could see that happening True. to where like USC beats Utah, Utah beats Oregon, Oregon yeah. beats Washington, Washington. There's yeah. four there's four good teams in the Pac twelve. And I could see both the winners still being like a ten and two team and no one making the playoff. But yeah. we'll see. I'm I, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that we can finally get the Pac-12 can finally get someone in the playoff once again. They haven't had an, until since the Washington. Yes, yeah, since the Washington got beat by Alabama. Yeah, I think this game showed how not very good Michigan State is. Yeah, more than how good Washington is. Yeah, so. we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, Texas A&M. Um, after an embarrassment last week, um, ends up winning uh, against Miami, seventeen to nine. It was uh. I didn't get to watch all this game, but didn't really look. It wasn't really that much fun to watch when I was watching it, just because it was a defensive snooze fest, in my opinion. Um, but Texas A&M offense, like they win, but their offense looks terrible. Like it doesn't look good. Yeah, both offenses did not look good. Um, I don't think both offense both offenses aren't good. The Texas A&M's defense was really good. I mean, they had um, they had some notable things happen in between this game and the Appalachian State game. Uh, most notably. Their one of their best prospect or not prospect, their best uh, DB on defense driving recklessly around in a parking garage on Instagram live ended up getting suspended indefinitely. I think there was another play that got suspended as well. And then two players on the defense got ejected for targeting in this game and they still won, Jeez. which is kind of impressive, I guess. But honestly, it's I should have known. For my pick them. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm I'm just kicking myself with these pickers, man. <laughs> Especially for NFL too. Um, but yeah, other than that, I just feel like Texas A&M's uh, defense just balled out and dominated. Yeah, I I don't have a whole lot to say on this game. Texas A&M looked good. It looks good. But are you serious? Yeah. He's actually just driving on. Yeah. No, it was it was it was a parking garage. It wasn't it was on parking lot. Like he was zooming. Like what makes you want to do that? I don't understand. Like some people are just really dumb, but uh. But yeah, they got some discipline stuff. It sounds like yeah, really Jimbo's got us. Jimbo's got us. Snap him into shape Jimbo's real quick. But yeah, yeah, they're pretty. They look pretty good. So uh, Notre Dame, uh, Cal game, not a big notable game, but twenty four seventeen crazy ending. Literally had it in his hands on the hail mary at the end. I was jumping up for joy because I thought he had it. And I think did. it was you mean Devin were yeah. watching it, right? Yeah. Oh man, I was so sad. But um, <laughs> I think that Notre Dame looks like a terrible team I they look like they notre look. dame notre dame is usually a top 25 program that has not been as they shouldn't be as highly ranked as they are but they're still like a top 15 team hey but hey to where this team doesn't they, they look terrible can we can we stop for a moment and give a round of applause to marcus freeman on his first win as a notre dame coach good job marcus freeman <laughs> Way to I'm go. Worried. I'm worried. I thought that that was going to be a good hire for them, and I'm worried. I'm yeah. worried. Yeah, I mean, I'm not worried because I really don't care. Couldn't care less about Notre Dame. Um, I mean, I same. It is, it is earn... a lot of fun to see them at one and two. Yeah. It is. I can't stand Notre Dame. Me no. personally. America wins when Notre Dame loses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. And then the last game to talk about um, was. Yeah, Matt. I was very high on that, on Marcus Freeman, but. Yeah. Yeah. I am quickly not high on him. Anymore. Yeah, I, I don't think if he doesn't have a good season, I don't think it's in the state. Well, I honestly don't think it matters because he's such a good guy and like yeah. he's the he has yeah. the locker room. So I don't think they're gonna get rid of him. All right, last game to talk about LSU Mississippi State was close for um, most of the game. They ended the Tigers ended up winning thirty one to sixteen. Um. Jaden Daniels, Jaden Daniels, man, Daniels, Jayden Daniels, Jayden Daniels, <laughs> man. Daniels. twenty-two for thirty-seven, 
210 yards and a touchdown through the air. And then he had 16 carries for 93 yards and a touchdown. So almost a 200 yard passing game and a hundred yard rushing game. It's a Lamar stat line, like a Lamar yeah, college. I, stat line. I, uh, I've said on this podcast, I just don't think that Jaden Daniels is a good thrower. Like I just, he's not, I mean, in the game you saw in the Too inconsistent. Quarter, you saw in the fourth quarter, he was literally throwing the ball out of bounds and like, Brian Kelly was oh, yeah, yelling, yelling from yes, the sidelines. Yes, like, he was yelling at him. But man, like he is so good at scrambling and making plays out of nothing. He's like a he's a typical so good. college football quarterback. Yeah, he is. He... Literally, he is a definition of a college football yeah. quarterback. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I'm it was it was good to see LSU win this because I picked him. Um yeah. But yeah, I I, I just think Jane Daniels has to be more consistent for them to want to if, like if beat J- the if big Jayden team Daniels could be a consistent like they play so auburn good. next week so yeah probably a win for yeah. that one but can i can i can i say something real quick go ahead uh apart from this game yes i, I want to say something about anthony richardson for florida what a week one performance to just absolutely fall off the next yeah i mean weeks. i i said that i was like oh he's gonna be a heisman dark horse and yeah he is since the then, opposite of that proved how wrong I was. Yeah. So I think their chance at SEC SEC. Chance. Oh, there's they have no shot. Yeah. I honestly Kills. don't see within two weeks. Yeah, they have to have. I'm pretty sure they have to have Kentucky lose yeah. twice for them to have a chance. But I think I sorry, Caleb. So. You did. You did. Um. Yeah. Yeah. For another thing, shout out Stetson Bennett. Like man has oh, been balling out. Stan I, Bennett. I will say it. Right here on this podcast, during that SEC championship game, I was watching with Garrett, and I said, how do they not play JT Daniels? Like, how is he not the starter? And since then, he proved me wrong by going and leading them to a national championship game. Yes, their defense was insane last year. But their defense is great this year, but their offense is so good. Like, he has been so good. Like, I think- if I had to put someone that I think would, if the season ended today, who would get the Heisman to, like, I would give it to Sesson Bennett. Yeah, I think it's, it's such good a year, and I think that he will continue to. Yeah, I think it's him, C.J. Stroud, and Bryce Young. Which he threw like two the clear, picks. The clear Bryce three. Young threw two picks in that game yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. So. I seriously think Georgia could go back to back. They could. They, they, they look, look so really good. good. Yeah. They, look, they, they embarrassed South out. Carolina. Oh, yeah. They embarrassed them. Oh, yeah. Rattler looked terrible. Yeah. Spencer Rattler didn't even have a touch. I only had, I think he had like 170 passing yards and like no touchdown passes. But yeah. Yeah. All right. In the next segment, we will get into our week four. We already on week four for college football. Week four. That's man. crazy. Time flies. Week four college pickums. Football, football goes way too fast. I know. Seriously. Week four pickums are next. All right, boys. Let's get into our week four pickum. Uh, we got ten games. Let's just go through it. And uh, it's the first game we got uh Wisconsin versus Ohio State. Give me Ohio State. Give me the Ohio State. <laughs> Got to go the Buckeyes here. I mean, Wisconsin, they lost to Washington State last week, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Blackout Blackout night night game. Nice. Prime time. Nice. Sweet. Beautiful. Uh, no. Uh, second game we got is Clemson versus Wake Forest. So, Wake Forest had some trouble with Liberty. Yes. They, they only won because with a minute left, Liberty went for, went two. for two. But I like Wake Forest a lot. I don't think they'll win this game but expect it to be like very close like i think it'll be like a back and back and forth game yeah i love sam Harmon, uh their qb so i got clemson but expect it to be close i got clemson i love Dabo. um i think i've said that many times yeah i got clemson <laughs> i think it'll be a blowout Oh, you're thinking about it too? I am going to go okay. Wake Forest in okay. this game. No way. Um, I think that they're going to do it at home. I, I think they're going to do it at home. And I think that this might be the game where they move on from DJ. <laughs> yeah, he's he's played terrible as the season goes on. I think that this could be a thing where it's one of these games. It's a running back who's like carrying him right now. Yeah, and I think it could be one of their games. They have like a five-star quarterback Dude, sitting yeah, behind him. And so, Cade Clubman. Yeah, yeah, so Dude, I, I, I think it could be much. like a Trevor His Lawrence His name is type. Cade Clubman and they're not playing him? Yeah. I I I, I, think it's I just come on, just Dabo. Think, I think that it's going to be the thing like when Trevor Lawrence took over. I think it was either after a loss or like they barely lost. I see it going that way. But since it's in Wake yeah. Forest, I'm going to go Wake Forest with this one. I like it. I like. All it. right, a, a game that I will be attending: Baylor versus Iowa State. Huh. Um. <clears throat> see, this is difficult because it's a home game for Iowa State. If it was not, I would clearly pick Baylor. I still, I think I'm still gonna go with Baylor. 
Um, I would say they don't. I don't know. They're just a scrappy. Like they'll play up to big good teams, but they'll play down to mm-hmm. bad teams kind of team right now. Yeah. So I think I'm just going with Baylor. Yeah, I will not be choosing the Cyclones. Um, I think everyone knows why, because I do not like Hey, them. guys, okay, um, so Hannah, Matt's boyfriend, and Caleb had, had a little bet yeah. for Matt's, Matt's girlfriend. I, I, Matt's, be I, am, I, I do have a girlfriend. Yes, she's <laughs> yes. <not> a boyfriend. <laughs> Hannah's. Hannah, yes. Um, they boyfriend. had a bet for who? For the Iowa, Iowa State game. Iowa you State, I'm not pointing. Tonight. I am gonna wear it tonight. Uh-huh. I, well, that was a deal. I had to wear it. <laughs> so he, we, we had a little flag football practice session. Yeah. And Caleb wore an Iowa State shirt, and I, I can tell you right now, I did not notice for about twenty <laughs> minutes because of how good he looked in that shirt. <laughs> so guys, this is good. I'm getting way too many compliments. I, don't like I mean, this. I don't like this one at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say anything, but. It might be a cyclone, Caleb. Who knows? Oh gosh. Uh, I'm gonna go Baylor as yeah, well. I, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go Baylor as well. I could see this. I'm gonna tell you this: either Wake Forest is gonna be Clemson or Iowa State's gonna be Baylor. Not both teams are gonna win that game. Okay. I don't think that's gonna happen. And I can't wait to come back and that did happen. So that's that's really cool. Um, but I I think that Baylor is too talented to lose another game on the road like this. Uh, I like Blake Shapin. Um, uh, just so you guys know, he used to be a. ASU commit for football and oh. baseball oh. and uh, wow. went to Baylor and wow. super cool. Love when everyone leaves us and then all they you do have well. To do is awesome. Double Xavier Hutchinson. That's all you have to do. I mean, you guys try to do it and you still lost. So. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well, that's yeah. Um. All right. Let's move to Florida <laughs> versus Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. Tennessee. Is it oh, at, it's at Tennessee? It's at Tennessee. I got Tennessee. I got Tennessee too. I got Tennessee too. Anthony Richardson. I, I was so excited for you this year. I want Florida to be good so bad, but I cannot it's, pick them. It's so hard. To, yeah. It's so hard to vote for them. All right. Texas versus Texas Tech in Lubbock. Mm, is Quinn Ears going to play? I, I The last I've heard, he's out for like four weeks. Okay. So I got I got Tech. I got Texas Tech. Quinn Ears is not playing. I got Texas Tech. I like Texas. Give me Texas. <laughs> I mean, Texas Texas struggled against UTSA yeah. last week. So yeah. I'm going to go Texas Tech as well. I mean, they in Lubbock too. In Lubbock. And they, I believe they went to North Carolina State last week and played them close, who is, they're also a top 25 team. I'm going to go Tech here. I like Texas Tech. Also, I am going back a little bit, but I was so sad that Texas lost to Hoffman. <laughs> I almost, you almost were right. I almost got my pick up. I was back. watching this game. I was like, oh my gosh, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> it, it started out. It started out, and I was like, "Okay, Garrett was right. Like, it's gonna start out this way." And then I was like, "Oh, it's still this way." Yeah. Oh my gosh, they just scored. It literally Holy came crap. down. My pick em literally came down to losing from a winning field goal. Yeah. yeah. Alabama's sad. offense just looks so Honestly, bad. I'm just proud that yeah. Texas played them close. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> my dignity is still up yeah. there. So we got Tech. You got Texas, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Texas, sweet. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, next game we got Oregon versus Washington State up in Wazoo. Give me Oregon. Give me Oregon. I'm gonna go Oregon as well. But um, night game in Wazoo could crazy yeah. things have happened. Yeah. Um, we got Arkansas versus Texas A and M. Uh, this one's in Texas. Uh, give me Arkansas. Oh, this one's tough. This oh one's tough. wait. Mm-hmm. If it's in Texas though, give me Texas A and M. Give me Texas A and M. Give me the Aggies. I, I just like Texas A&M here. If, if it's, 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 it's a home, Texas, game, a home yep. game for Texas A&M, I, yeah. I like Texas A&M. Arkansas's offense look good, but Texas A&M's defense, I think, is too good for Arkansas to do anything. I agree. I think because it's in Texas, I'm taking Texas A&M. Give me the Aggies as well. All right, we got K-State versus Oklahoma. This Oklahoma. One, yeah. Wait, say, wait K-State? Kansas, Kansas State, State versus State. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Boomer oh, Sooner. Oklahoma. Boomer Sooner. Boomer Sooner. Boomer Man, Sooner. I'm going to be honest, like, I've always like kind of liked Oklahoma. Like I wa- liked watching them because of like their offense and stuff like that. Like they, bef- I didn't like Baker Mayfield, obviously. But after that, I lo- I I don't know why I love him so much. But I love Jalen Hurts, and then I love you are um, a big Jalen Hurts. Was it like a like his story kind of? Thing? I loved when he came in against the, in the SEC championship yeah. game and did that, and then went to Oklahoma. <clears throat> um, and then Kyler Murray, I wasn't a big fan of his either, but. I just kind of always liked Oklahoma because they always yeah. sucked in the playoff, and so it was kind of just an underdog thing. But I yeah. love Oklahoma even more under Brent Venables. I, I love, love that man. I love that man. Great coach. Um. All right, then we got USC versus Oregon State. Is it? It's at, in Oregon. Well, I mean, home games for USC aren't even home games because nobody goes. But <laughs> um, I think I, I also go USC here. I like 
I like Oregon State's atmosphere at home. If, if I like a late night, is this is this late? It's a late. Oh, night. dude, it's nothing nothing after. better than Pac-12 after dark, especially if it's a good game too. Um, but yeah, so don't give me USC. It'll be. T- I th- I think Oregon State will keep it close. This is tough. Since you guys did a risk, you guys chose Wake Forest over Clemson, right? I uh, I chose Clemson, but I think Wake Forest is still okay. gonna maybe keep I'll, it close. This will be my like my risk game. Oh, so maybe I'll cho- I'll choose. I'll give you the Beavers. Bro, the I think that this weekend could have a lot of upsets Give looking the at the 10 games that we're yeah. telling with. Yeah. I'm going to go USC, but as an ASU fan in 2014, where we were ranked number six in the country, went up to Oregon State, mm-hmm. Pac-12 after dark. Terrible Oregon State team. Oregon State's better now than they were then, but lose to them then. I mean, they beat yeah. USC a long time ago when yeah. the USC was the number one team in the country. Give me Oregon State. I, I'm going to go USC. I think that they're just too talented on offense, but I think mm-hmm. that this, this could be a high-scoring affair if – Oregon State can keep keep up, but I mean, I just think it's going to be close because USC's defense. I just don't think we'll stop them, dude. That's a typical Lincoln Riley defense. Yeah, they had that Oklahoma defense was yeah. terrible. Offense scores as yeah. That's just a typical Lincoln Riley defense. Yep. All right, and then last game of the week, we got Stanford versus Washington. Yeah, Washington. You said Stan. Oh yeah, Washington. I'm gonna Stanford's go Washington terrible. too. Stanford yeah. is terrible. Stanford is, awful. Stanford is terrible. Dude, I'm. Sorry, I don't know how David Shaw is it. Yeah, yeah. How does he still have a job? Yeah, I honestly don't even <laughs> think it matters whoever has a job. I, it wouldn't even no, but not even Bill Belichick could go in and fix that team. They're awful. They're terrible. They've been good since Christian McCaffrey. They're terrible. That was like what, like four or five years ago. Yeah, that was 2015. Yeah. So that was yeah, like that was the last time. Five six years. Yeah, ago. I mean they've had some upsets here and there. Yeah, but I don't know how. I don't know how that man is still. All right, boys. Well, uh, that is it for our college football talk. Before we end, uh, I'm going to share the verse with us. I got John 15. Um, It starts out in verse one. It says, I'm the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Already, if you already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you, abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit it by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. Um, this was uh, shared at is the passage we went through yesterday in church. Um, shout out Christ Church. Um, but uh, I, I just I really love this verse yesterday at church, just talking about how we need to abide in him and how um we are nothing away from him. I just really thought that it was a huge thing. Like Nick was even talking about, like, even though like he prunes you and it's talking about that, like he cuts you like that is for your good. Like he cuts things away from your life for the good in that he sees. And so I just really wanted to share that one that, um, that we have to abide in him and know him. Um, so that's all yeah. I got. Yes, sir. Y'all got anything yeah. else? Go bucks. Let's go. Go Hawks. Uh, hey, <laughs> hey, um, if if anyone is over twenty one here, um, take the over and the Utah spread. I don't even know what it is yet, but take the Utah spread against the issue. It's gonna be it's gonna be a high scoring affair. Our defense sucks. Works up. Yes. All right. Uh, thank you once again for tuning into this episode of the Versus Podcast. Um, please like this video, subscribe, and uh, we will see y'all in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> Thank you.